Hello there. Today I'm going to show how I use Improviser to drive other sound sets. Um, originally when I installed Improviser I really enjoyed it. It's a great application for practicing jazz tunes, checking out different arrangements, etc. But the general MIDI always left me wanting more so I tried to figure out a way that I could uh, connect with uh, like contact or tune track easy drums. So what I did was I installed a virtual MIDI cable. Um, it's called it's a MIDI driver called Loopy One and you can get it from www.nerds.de. When you install it make sure you have the mute unchecked. And then you go into Improviser. I'm using version 5.08 and go to your preferences under MIDI, ensure that you have loop B internal MIDI set for your output, save the preferences, and then I just loaded up one of the lead sheets through the um, uh, through the imaginary book released through the Yahoo group. So after this is all in place you can go to your mixer, set the levels however you like, and then I'm using Reaper uh, as my DAW to uh, host the various VSTs. So for the bass, um, you'll see that I'm, I've chosen MIDI input, loop B internal MIDI. Uh, by default, Improviser sends the, the bass MIDI signals to channel 7, so I've selected that here. And then I go into the effects and I load up my VSTi. Um, I've loaded contact and using the upright bass that's um, a part of this it's one of the sample sets that's available for free from the native instruments uh, website and then for my second track I have the drum set up again I go to the MIDI inputs check loop B and then improviser sends on channel 10 so I've selected that here and as I mentioned before I'm gonna use a VSTi called Easy Drummer by a company called to Tune Track, and I'm just using the cocktail kit because it sounds more jazzy than the default rock and pop kit. And then in the third um, track I have um, piano set up. Now this is another contact um, sample set uh, it's called Alicia's Keys, but I'm going to be playing that one live. <laughs> So, um, Improviser will not be sending the MIDI for that channel. It's coming directly from my keyboard. So now, once I have everything set up, I can. I'm actually going to record. So I hit record here. I'm just going to play one chorus with a count in. see how that um, I played the improviser and then I drove the sounds uh, that were hosted in Reaper and I recorded everything so you'll see all of my tracks here I'm gonna mute or actually I'm gonna just delete this this is my um, oops this is the uh, vocal track because it was recording my mic and then I can play back what I played and keep in mind that all the VSTIs are still loaded helpful. Thank you very much.